Parshat Tzav, 5, 7, 8, 4, going from Purim to Parshat Shavua Tzav. We know the opening idea of the Parsha is Esh Tamid to Kadbo Lo The defining Pasuk that says there always needs to be fire and it cannot be extinguished. So in Masechet Zvachim, the question is if it says Esh Tamid, you translate it, it means forever. Lotich Be is weird. If the fire needs to be there all the time, then why do you add the additional command, don't put it out? You put it out, it's not Tamid. So why do I say Lotich Be? There's an identical, similar appearance in our war against Amalek that we fought on Shabbat, Sunday, Monday, a three-day Yom Tov of Purim. And that three-day Yom Tov we said in the first word against Amalek, Zachob. Remember, the last two words, Lo Tishkach. In biblical literature, this is called an inclusio. This is the center, the opening and the end that are similar. The first word says Zachor. The last word says Lotishkach. So it encloses in an envelope the entire story of the war against the Malik in these two words. Remember, don't forget. So again, we're going to ask the same question. Remember means remember. So why do you have to say Lotishkach? Just like we said, if it says Tamid, then why do you say Lotishbeh? Maybe these two things are very, very different from one another. Zachor is an external act that is speaking about Amalek. Destroy them, fight them, extinguish them, remove them, fight them. And what we're saying is a command on them. Lotishkach is about the person himself, an internal understanding, a whole different level of demand that it's not an external act, but that the external act is the beginning of recognizing that there needs to be internal transformation, an internal war that you have to recognize that is another level. And so what we're teaching ourselves in the war against Amalek is that the number one thing is to remove the external, but then analyze it. Why? Why are we commanded to remove them? will transform us. It will make us different. It will make us less elitist. It will stop us from being a nation that thinks that we have to remove external problems. We're removing the external because they remind us of a very clear antithesis to what we're meant to be. We are meant to be people that make room, that make space, that don't think we're God. They are fighting milchama, la Hashem, la Amalek. They're fighting against God. They're fighting the essence of making room. Hashem makes space. Hashem makes room. And therefore, after you extinguish Amalek, you realize that you too could become Amalek. You could become a person that has no room for anyone except for yourself. That you're always right. And therefore, everyone is wrong. And by doing so, you're enabling the fire of Amalek. Same too with the Mizbeach. Esh tamitu kadbo. Esh tamitu kadbo. Speaking about the Mizbeach. But now wait a second. 
Ask yourself, what does it mean? Why does the Mizbech need to have a constant fire? Because it's teaching you not only about the Mizbech, but it's teaching you about you. Lo other people's fires. Lo other people's passion. Lo other people's differences. And the idea of the Esh Tamid is that, yes, Hashem unites it all. But for the fire not to go out, we need to add wood every single minute. And so many people speak about burnout. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. The fire never goes out. It's abandoned. Passion never goes away. Inspiration never diminishes. There's one thing called, I don't care. I don't have time. I don't have priorities. And therefore I don't feed wood to the fire. But that is the second thing that we're learning from the Mizbeach. Lo tichban yourself. If you had Purim and the next day it looks the same, then cancel your Purim. Purim was meant to teach you lechnos. Make room. Make space. Stop being so judgmental. Start realizing that you have to demand of yourself to incorporate daily consistent decisions that make the fire last. So the low tichbez, number one, don't put out other people's fires. Don't be cynical. Don't be judgmental. Don't be an elitist. And the second low tichbez, stop talking about burnout. Burnout is not a thing. There's just neglect. Bezrat Hashem, our fires should not go out.